So this morning we have 20 testifiers. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So I'm going to call their names and they want, I want them to come and stand where you know where you testify on my right. Praise the Lord. So I'm calling the Bureau on Care, Wick, Wickfield, Sister D, Brother Carl, Sister Okikola, Adedeji, Brother Tola, Kolade, Tofa, Fakule, TJ, Olawumi, Sister Ola, Oluatumi, Tona, Brother David, Osemiwe, Fumi, Owupetu, Sister Funto, Adelaja, Brother Abraham Barret, Brother Sam Musa, Ife, Ife Oluwa, Oshin, you know your name. Sister Lizzie Stanley, I'm going to read her. And uh, Sister uh, Dr. Abiola, I will read your testimony. Brother Philip Ajayi, Sister Austin, come forward, praise the Lord. Just in that manner, I want you to come forward and share your testimony. We have 20 people, so you know, you have to do one minute so that we can have enough time. Just say what God has done. You know, and let's glorify Jesus. Don't tell us stories that will make us forget what you are there for. Praise the Lord. I'll drive you if you, if you do that. Good morning, church. My name is Ibirunke Wycliffe. Today I'm here to return thanksgiving to the Lord, the lover of my soul. He's been good to me, and October 2023 made it one year since I landed in Canada. <laughs> I'm grateful for his sustenance and his, his protection for in the land that I now call home. In the last year, my career suffered a big hit because I've had to transition from the marketing industry into financial services sector. And for the last seven months, I worked a job that barely paid my bills. It was very tough and very, very stressful. But I worked diligently every day, trusting God to make a way for me. At the last Jesus is Lord service, I remember standing on the queue over there, one of the nights where pastor was laying hands on all of us. And I heard the Holy Spirit clearly tell me, he said, Ibirunke, ask me again for what you want. And in that moment, I dared to ask God for multiple job offers. Now imagine the audacity of a person who had not received any callbacks from a recruiter in the last seven months. But today I stand here, true to God's word, I stand here as a testament to a God that cannot lie. On the same day, I got two job offers, 10 minutes apart, and I thank God for the grace to be able to choose a job that I actually love. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So our God is opening doors for jobs this morning in Jesus' name. Good morning, church. My name is Dee, and I'm here to just glorify the Lord and give him thanksgiving. Uh, if any of you know, I've been here just over a year now um, from BC to Alberta, and it's been a tough year. Um, when the enemy wants to play games, he plays tough. And uh, so it's been a time where um, I've now come into needing to work. And over our last three uh, Roar Prayer sessions, um, applications that were going out, I was getting phone calls the very next morning. And um, so I just praise God. And he has sent me multiple clients. I do private um, online counseling. And I'm, I'm just in awe and gratefulness. Give Amen. glory to God. Hallelujah. Our God is opening doors for new jobs. The opportunity to get a job. Hallelujah. Believe God. Good morning, church. I come to give God praise for all he has done in my life. I've been here in Canada, in Calgary, for the past 20 years. And I want to say thank God for Pastor Cola, Pastor D, for allowing God to use them and that I can be benefit. I want to thank God for his word to, uh, that is given to me. And I said today, I'm... Um, to be fruitful and to be multiplied and to replenish the hurt. And I want to thank God for that because standing here, I am scheduled for work, 
but yet I'm in God's house. It could only be God. And um, the, the couple's banquet, likewise, I, dis I wanted to be in the midst amongst God's people to build my marriage, to make it stronger, and to show forth God. And God worked it out that I was here. He provided the funds and allowed me to be here in church from the Friday up to the Sunday and to be in that function. And I want to thank God for that time that we were able to spend together at the church and as an individual. I thank God. It may not seem much to you, but it means a lot to me Amen. that I can be a part of the family of God, Amen. standing up as a church. God, you are worthy. Amen. Who is like unto you? Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, hallelujah. We are people of gratitude, hallelujah. We thank God that we are in the midst of God's people. Praise God. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. Um, this testimony is way overdue. I want to thank God for safekeeping. It's been a little over a year since I came to Canada as a student. And to the glory of God, I'm going to be completing my program at the end of this year. Um, I want to thank God for his grace and for helping me find favor in this country. Without, my, without God, without the support of my parents and my uncle and aunt, I wouldn't be here today. Like, even my first job was by an act of faith, and I thank him for saying yes and amen to every of my efforts. Um, by the end of this program, everyone has been telling me it's going to take me three to six months to get a job, even after Canadian experience. But I know that by next Thanksgiving, I will also be here to give another testimony amen. of a job in my field. Praise amen. the Lord. Amen. We bless God for provision. Hallelujah. Thanks. Good morning, everyone. Um, I would like to thank God for his faithfulness throughout this year. Um, it's been a solid rock for myself and my family. I'm here to also represent my family to acknowledge that this year has truly been a year of dominion. Um, I'm grateful to NCA, truly, for various opportunities to grow our, my spiritual life, my career, my um, all the relationships around me. So in NCA, we hear the word, we pray, we fast very well. The amount of practical sessions in terms of seminars, info, info sessions, and I don't joke with those Saturday info sessions. They mean a lot to me. And because they really help me take practical actions and for you to meet people who are already in the fields that you want to um, go into. So pastor keeps saying that we should not reinvent the wheel. And I honestly am a testimony that I've benefited from excellent professionals in NCA that have guided me in my career. So um, there's this verse that I hear people say, it didn't make sense to me until this year, that when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, um, we were like those that dream. And this year has just been a dream to me. So it summarizes my year, 2023. Thank you. All glory to God. Hallelujah. We are grateful to God for all his provision. Good morning, church. I just want to thank God um, and give him all the glory for blessing me and the work of my hands in a way that is truly indescribable. Um, during our last Jesus is Lord service, we had those dominion nights where we would come into church at midnight and, you know, worship God and thank God. One of those nights, Pastor said that we should write a testimony report. Um, I wrote down my testimony, and he also said the next night, I believe, which was the last night, that um, we should come and shake his hand, and the word was congratulations. So, you know, fast forward a couple months. Um, I actually, Pastor also, during that time, gave me a specific word um, con concerning the work of my hands um, as well. So fast forward, came, came back a couple months. Um, I had a meeting with my boss and the exact thing that I was looking for in my testimony report, number two, she just said it right then and there. And I just want to give him all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration belongs to God. Hallelujah. Our walk is a walk of faith. You have to believe God. You have to do the word. Hallelujah. Amen. And God will honor you. Amen. Praise God, church. I would like to give God the glory for his protection over my family. I and my family owe God this testimony way back. 1st November 2022, 
while coming back from the flu shot um, collection location, we had a ghastly vehicle accident skidding on the black ice until an head-on collision with a traffic concrete cube. The Lord took charge. Nobody was injured. It could have been worse. Our vehicle was written off. Same November, my wife lost her job after a series of layoffs at our workplace. We stand here to testify that in all, God came through for us. He came through with a brand new car, provided her with a new job, the God of one night with the king, the God of JLS, JILS, and the God of NCA remained faithful and answering each of our prayer points one after the other. We look forward to a flourishing 2024 and pray that the great things which he has started, he will be faithful to bring to completion. Thank you, Pastor K. Thank you to the entire church and thank you, everyone. God bless you. About 2024, we're excited about these blessings of 2023. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. I promised to give God this testimony when I made the prayer point, but I've been a chicken. Um, firstly, I'd like to thank God for his power in NTA and in and through Pastor Kola. In my first year in marriage, I had multiple miscarriages that left my faith in absolute shambles and made it difficult to pray or trust God. I'd essentially pray, and if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. My parents essentially felt like wingless birds that never took flight. In spite, of in spite of me going on to have two children, my journey back to trusting God to answer my prayers has been difficult. But for the first time in over five years, this year I was able to pray with expectation, trusting that God would answer. Secondly, I'd like to thank God for the water knowledge that came in the first Jesus is Lord service. I went into the service with little or no expectations, but I simply asked God for a word. Pastor seemed to be sending words that were directed at me. First, you were working below capacity. You're doing stuff that is unrelated to what your, your expertise is. And they said that you, things may be going well at your current place of work, but it's going to change. And true to the word, my, things at my job started to change. My boss that loved me started to act funny. Uh, a job that was promised to me wasn't working out. Um, during one of the three-day prayer and fasting, I didn't fast during that period, but uh, Pastor had asked us to dress uh, in a way that represent, wear something representative. So I wore a new shirt that I bought for work purposes and prayed for a new job. I got a new job with an almost 50% increase in salary. Throughout the, throughout the interview process, four interviews, I wore the same shirt I prayed with to the point my mom asked, my mom who was visiting asked me, is this the only shirt you have? <laughs> the entire experience was mind-blowing for me, and I'm so grateful to God. Lastly, I want to thank God for favor over my family. We bought our first home this year. My husband got promoted, and there's been so much he has done for me. I just want to say thank God for his kindness and faithfulness. Hallelujah. Our God is faithful. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. I have two testimonies. The first one is a couple weeks ago, my sister, she's in school in Ireland and she said her eye was hurting. And then she just went to the eye doctor just to like, just make sure everything's okay. They said that we can't let you leave that it's an emergency because the retina and both of your eyes are detached. Um, so I put in a prayer alert, we prayed. The plan was to have one surgery one day, wait a week, and then have the surgery on the other eye the next week. Um, my dad flew in from Amsterdam. My mom left here um, immediately just to go and be with her. Um, I just want to give all the glory because every, the surgeries weren't great. She's recovering well. Um, I'm also thanking God in advance because the recovery process is pretty long. Um, but I'm thanking God in advance because I know he's going to be with us every single step of the way. Amen. Um, second testimony is about my job. Um, those of you who don't know me, I like to jump from job to job wherever the money's calling. Um, so for the past 11 months, we've been building a credit card business platform. And last week, we had our first real life transaction on a brand new credit card. So I'm just grateful because these kind of things, they take a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of money. And I'm just grateful because we're finally making progress and seeing tangible results for everything we've been doing. So, Amen. Yeah. Our God is a healer, a provider. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Good morning, church. I want to thank God for his provision and for giving me a job in this land. I initially moved to Canada in 2020 from the United States with multiple U.S. degrees and U.S. experience, and I never thought I would have any problems getting a job here. 
but after applying to multiple jobs in Canada and got nothing for over a year, I moved back to, Euro to the U.S. in 2021. I decided to give Canada a second try in this year and tried again for over seven months with no results. With over 200 job applications and zero interviews, fear and doubt started to set in. I was told to alter my resume, play it down as I may be, appear to be overqualified, but I was also told to apply to like entry-level roles. But I held on to every word of God that was released. I wrote my testimony report, prepared an offer letter with the company logo, the role, and my salary expectations. When I went in for this particular interview, I asked them where was the workspace that they reserved for the person. And I sat in that chair and I said, this is my workspace. To the glory of God, I got the job, resumed this week, and I sat exactly in that same chair that was assigned. I want to thank God because it fulfilled every of his word in my life. In 1 Kings 8, 24, I wrote it like this in my own journal. You have kept your promise to your daughter for me. You made that promise with your own mouth and you fulfilled it with your hands today. I want to give all the praise and all the glory to God. Hallelujah. Our God is faithful. He provides. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Church. I have four testimonies, but I'll keep it to one minute still. I come humbly to God to give him praise and glory for his constant answering of prayers and turning things around for good in my life and others this year. All of the testimonies I'm about to give were on the testimony report Pastor asked us to write. I first of all give him praise for turning around a lot of immigration problems concerning my friends and loved ones. God has given multiple people who had been suffering from delays with their permanent residencies, work permits. In the last two months, prayers for people that have been praying for over the entire year has been answered. And God has reminded me again and again that delay to an answer is not denial. He will keep on answering if we keep persisting. I also want to give God praise for restoring my mind. Over the last two years, I lost all hope and stopped believing in God, that he could do the big things. But today, I come humbly as God has shown me that he cares. He's able to do exceedingly abundantly. He has shown me, and I can gladly say, I can dream again. He has shown me that indeed what he said in Jeremiah 32, that I am the Lord your God, is there anything too hard for me? That there is absolutely nothing too hard for him. I also come to, come, I also come to give God the glory for suckers at my current job. I was placed in charge of a project that was brand new. I prayed to God during the Jesus is Lord service in July, asking God to make sure that the outcome of this one will be one that many will know that I am God's chosen one, that it will give me a result that stood out. Indeed, God showed up and showed out. I recorded outstanding results for a first-time project, surpassed the expected outcomes. God even showed me more, even on the project that has been done for the past years. I'm, I can gladly say that all the results in other projects is being projected to be one of the best results ever to be resulted by the company. By the company. I also just want to thank God for this one, that although I had success in this job, God has already supplied me a new job for 2024. Amen. A job I didn't apply for. In fact, a door that has always been opened up to me, it just opened my eyes to see that, indeed, that was always for me. The word of flourishing in 2024 is already showing up. I'm grateful for his God, for his mercy, his patience, his kindness. He has shown me that he cares for my needs more and more this year. All glory to God. He has Amen. done great things. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. Um, I've, I've come to return all glory to God for his abundant blessings in my life. As I reflect on year 2023, I am reminded of God's word in Psalm 65 verse 11 that says, you crown the year with your goodness and your paths drip with abundance. So some time back, I embarked on a career transition journey. And after my necessary trainings and certifications, um, it became hard. I just, I kept on failing at the third stage, fourth stage and so at some instances. Um, I was a little bit down, and um, during that period, um, Pastor was speaking about um, seed and how we can trust God, and he challenged us to, to, to put God's word into action. It was like, test God with your giving. Um, at this time, my giving was all over the place. I wasn't consistent, and I, I decided to take that challenge on. Um, long story short, it's been, God has blessed the work of my hands. He has he has given me a very fantastic role. Um, he has helped me. This year has been one blessing or blessing upon the other. Um, he gave me my citizenship. Amen. He and just just recently he he gave me a, he blessed my family with a new house. Amen. 
not only that, he also provided money to buy furniture. So when you shout, there's no one echo. I just want to thank all glory to God. Amen. Our God is a provider. He puts the extra on top. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, church. My name is Samuel. I'm here to give all glory to God. A couple of months back, precisely in April, I lost my job. Immediately, I got a word from God found in 1 Kings 17, verse 14. For thus says the Lord God of Israel, the barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. I got confirmation of that word when I got to church two days after I lost my job. It was the prophetic uh, rearrangement service in April, as that was the first scripture that pastor used in preaching. So I, I, was, I was sure that the word was from God. Months went by and it appeared that nothing was happening. Despite me writing my offer letter, testimony reports, and everything, I only got rejection emails from, from lots of application. Fast forward six months down the line, it later became clear to me that leaving that role was actually my deliverance because as the company I was in had issues and the issues would have negatively affected me given my role if I had stayed back in that company. Secondly, during the period, God blessed my family with a brand new home. Not only that, he ensured that the monthly installment came as a gift and we were able to sort out the mortgage payment for the first month. The second month um, before the payment was due, God sorted me out and then he blessed me with a brand new job with great perks and benefits. I want to give thanks unto God for everything that he's done for the pastorate, for my family here at NCA, for my amazing and supportive wife. All glory to God. Hallelujah. Our God is a provider. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My name is Ife Olua. Um, what makes my testimony mind-blowing is the fact that I'm testifying to God for giving me a job that I never thought I needed. Um, I got certain word in 2022 to leave my church and a bunch of other things. I came to NCA. Um, God also told me that I'd been at my current position at that time for too long and I should start applying. I applied for roles in the regulatory team because I'm a lawyer, but I'm not qualified to practice here yet. And um, I applied to that job on the deadline, just threw in something and sent it out. And I didn't get a call back for two months. And then HR called me, said they had seen my CV, and that role is not fit for me. I'm, I need a role in the legal team. And I said, well, I'm not qualified yet. He's like, send an email to whoever's in charge of those teams and let me know what goes on. I've sent them your CV. I'm here to testify to the fact that I didn't interview for this job. I got to meet the head of the legal team, the regulatory team, the VP of the company, and all they kept asking me is, do you want the job? Do you want us to help you? Um, and then I told them, well, I'm still writing my exams. I'm yet to qualify. I have two left, but I'm writing both in the next month. Next thing I know, they're telling me, well, we've never had uh, an articling student before, but we're going to create that for you. I wrote my exams, was waiting for the results. I got a call from the head of the legal team asking if I was interested in a summer student position. I'm like, well, I don't mind. She's like, well, we usually get one every summer, but since you're in line to come article with us, we're offering you the position. And it was very weird because I'm like, well, I'm in for this. She's like, no, talk to HR. There might be a little pay cut. You might not be interested. There might be things that you don't like. It just seemed like they kept wanting to do much more than I wanted for me, even when I didn't think it was possible. And to the glory of God, I started my articling in September. Yes. I'm three months in, and God has been faithful. Um, I'm also here to testify to the fact that I came in in 2021. The word I got when I came into Canada was that, um, God will be the God of wonders beyond my galaxy. And I got my PR before I was done with my master's, Amen. which is, everyone just keeps asking me, how did it happen? But God did it. When I came in in 2021, my younger sister was involved in an accident and she re had to relearn how to walk. Had a lot of things in the pipeline, but all, everything had to put to a pause, especially her master's. And I'm here to testify that she can walk. She's back at work. She's gotten her master's admission. Amen. And everything that we were waiting for Hallelujah. came after a ward in October. I'm grateful to God for also healing me and healing my mom. Amen. Hallelujah. Now we're going to watch a video. Testimony. Two videos. Okay. Good morning, church. 
my name is Elizabeth. Um, I have come to return all the glory to my mysterious God. Um, uh, when my family and I moved to Canada, so our plan was that I was going to do nursing. And 2019, we applied for a permanent resident. And my prayer then was just uh, for permanent resident to come so that I can have access to student loan to be able to do the nursing program. Then, that same 2019, I joined Prayer Academy, and my prayer point was still the same. And I never knew that God had a, um, a better plan for me. So, during one of the midnight prayers, after the prayer, so I, so I was showering, I had this urge to pray for business. I'm like, oh, business, okay. I don't want to do business, and I don't want to pray the prayer. But the urge would let me go, so I just managed to speak in tongues. Then, um, when I went to bed, I saw myself buying a business in the dream. And I still have the same urge to buy that business, as if, if I don't buy something bad was going to happen. Then, when I wake up, uh, I wrote down the dream and after a week or so I had another dream and that dream was so strange to me and I needed an interpretation and thank God Pastor Dr. then was teaching a dream and interpretation so I went to her I told her the dream she interpreted it for me so and I also told her the business one uh, so she now gave me um, scripture to go and read and speak in tongues for 30 minutes so I went home I did exactly what she asked me to do I went back to bed again there was a confirmation. Uh, I went back to her and she said, do you still need in interpretation? I said, no. So she said, okay, go and do your business proposal. Meet your husband, write your business proposal and come back to me. So I was not like, no, pastor, that I don't want to do business. Um, she said, uh, that that was how God called Moses and he started complaining her. So I left. I said, from that day, I started dodging Pastor Dada because I didn't want to do business. I started dodging her so that she would not ask me how far. To call the long story short, after um, when I now made up my mind to start a business, um, the devil came with fear, with confusion, with darkness everywhere. So I went to Pastor. So I told Pastor, and God used Pastor to bring peace, to bring clarity into my mind. I left his office that day with confidence to go into the business. So last year, September, I started the business, and two months into the business, I started the program to get more to gain more knowledge about the business. I mean, the program was stressful and it was <laughs> tough, but I want to thank God for His sources. And in the business, all I can see is the glory of God, His presence that He has actually sent me. So I've come to say thank you to Pastor Dada because if not for you, that dream would have still be on the paper where I wrote it. I want to say thank you to Pastor for allowing God to use you all the time to give a direction to his children. And I want to give all the glory to the Almighty God for, life, for loving me unconditionally. And I also want to say thank you to the Almighty God on behalf of my family for life and for, and for his numerous blessings of our life. May he name, his name alone be glorified. Amen. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everyone. My name is Samuel. And my name is Abiola. All thanks be to God Almighty, who daily loads us with benefits. As a family, we are most grateful for its innumerable blessings, but we'll just mention a few today. To the glory of God, December 7th marks our 10th um, wedding anniversary. We are thankful to God for helping us in this journey thus far, for the gift of life, perfect health, blessing us with wonderful children, wisdom from above in our marital journey, his faithfulness over our respective careers, fighting all our battles, and for the love we share, bound by a cord of three strands that is not easily broken. Uh, our second son was diagnosed with um, enlarged adenoids that predisposed him to recurrent respiratory congestion and infections, also with um, episodes where he goes breathless while asleep. To the glory of God at his reassessment by the specialist on November 14th, his repeat x-ray showed that the adenoids and lymph nodes had shrunken. In addition, I want to thank God for helping me pass my professional certification exams that I wrote on the 20th of October. Some days before the exam, I wrote my success result the way I wanted it to be and emailed it to myself. About two weeks after the exam, my result was mailed to me that I passed just like I wrote before the exam. We want to return all the glory to the Lord for all he has blessed us with in this year, 2023. 
and we are confident in the fact that in 2024, we will continue to flourish in the land spiritually, materially, and otherwise. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to read a testimony here from Brother Chooks Emmanuel. Um, it's about a surgery. Good afternoon, Pastor. My mother, my mom has had issues with her eyes for a while. She had a surgery in Nigeria that didn't go well. It went very, very badly. We had no choice but to fly her to America for corrective surgery because she couldn't bear the pain anymore. However, we had no clue how expensive the surgery was. After her first checkup, we were told it would cost us 40,000 US dollars and that we, it was beyond our, and that was beyond our budget. We decided to apply for a grant of which we didn't have any confidence in getting. In the last Justice Lord service, I came with one prayer point for God to heal my mom straight away or to provide the money for the surgery of which God will heal her eventually afterwards. That was my prayer point. No longer, no longer, not long after that, after, I got a call from my sister that the grant has been approved and they wrote off the entire $40,000. In other words, the surgery should be free. And in addition, they said all the medical expenses that she, she would get till 20, October 2024 are free. Praise the Lord. She has gone for the surgery and it went well and her sight has been fully restored. Indeed, God answers prayers. This is my testimony, Pastor. God answers prayers. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we want to hear from Philip Ajayi. Praise God, church. I just want to give this testimony to the glory of God. I have been working on a project that has been taking multiple turns. As I'm sure many people know, when you're about to go into execution, it's the last thing you want to do is to change your scope and change your basis. Unfortunately, in September, we're about to go to the field, and then drama began to happen, and people that we thought we had alignment with began to say, um, maybe not, we want to change this, and they began to pull out some design and all those rules that would have to force you to change your stuff, and I'm like, okay, I've got this. I went, with my, I went to meet my executive, we changed this, we created a separate phase for every turn, every time they come up with a new requirement, it's like pastor was just looking into the future. He would just prophesy either in church or during royal prayers. You would not be stuck. You would know what to do. And through the turns, you know, I was just like figuring it out, even though it was very dramatic. And then came last week, I think it got to a point where I was about to gain alignment with a few people and I was just surprised. The conversation was just getting heated and I was seeing managers yelling at each other and all of them like, okay, what's happening here? And I just had to kind of keep quiet and just watch. And in the midst of it, I just said, Holy Spirit, what's happening? I really want this to end. This was la last week, Tuesday. I didn't know how. Pastor, just during royal prayers, it's like, I want us to give a seed. And if you're experiencing some drama, you want this drama to end, I want you to give towards it. I was like, wow, okay. I quickly just wrote my seed, gave it. The next day, it felt like some extra drama. I was already, you know, thinking of how I'm going to make this look positive, spin it around and go to my own management to say, yeah, this is how we can go about it. But to my greatest surprise, before the end of that Wednesday, God just gave me a few ideas. And before I knew it, a few meetings began to happen. To the glory of God, by November 30th, it was surprising to me that we commissioned the project and we have a path forward. I really just want to give this glory to God because it can only be God. Praise amen, God. Amen. Indeed, your seed will meet the need that you have in Jesus' name. Let's hear from Austin. Greetings, church. I'm here to give glory and thanks to God for what he has done in my life through the Winning by Seed Church service. Before I left the house that day, I told God, please, Father, use your servant, Pastor Kola, to talk to me today about what I need to do to open my heavens. And God answered my prayers through Pastor Kola that day. When the pastor asked, which seed have you sowed about that situation? What have you done for that situation to change? I stood up and the Holy Spirit told me to sow all the money I had with me. And I didn't argue, actually, how would I cope if I sow all this money? Because I didn't have a job. Before sowing that money as a seed, I spoke to it and I told God what I wanted him to do for me. On Monday, I had my hearing with the Refugee Protection Division. And I told God what I wanted this, I wanted this to be successful. 
and I want the judge to see Jesus when he's interviewing me. And I want to see an angel in a human form when looking at the judge. The God of New Covenant Assembly did exactly what I demanded and more. I had someone who had to guide me through the hearing, but when I came back that Sunday, he told me, uh, you and this, you are church thing. Church issue, you think here in Canada? Yeah, just secure yourself before church. God, like, I was so devastated. I had nothing to do. And, and during my, my hearing lasted for 30 minutes, something that had to last for five hours. And it was like a casual discussion. I met NJ Michael there in human form. God gave me this without me having a lawyer standing with me. He made five hours meeting to be 30 minutes. Just in four months, all this happened, my work permit. And again, I got a miracle job, which I received a call for it on a Sunday after leaving church, thinking it was a fake job because it, it was like, I was like, it's weekend. I went for the interview and I was admitted. Bread and sowing in God's kingdom pays. It is the best investment one could make in this life. I thank Pastor Cole and all the resident pastors for the great works God is using them to do in our lives and the, NCA, and the NCA family for interceding for everyone in the church. Glory goes to God. Thank you. Hallelujah. And indeed, God will meet your needs with your seed in Jesus' name. Great deliverance. I'm going to read the testimony here, and that will be the final one for today. Hallelujah. Greetings. Praise the Lord. My testimony spans over a few Jesus is Lord fastings. The first was October 2020, Jesus is Lord fast. I had a dream with one of the sisters in the choir praying for a husband, and in that dream I told her it doesn't work. Pastor, Pastor, Kola, Pastor Kola came in the dream and told me, my sister, don't give up on God, for he hasn't given up on you. I decided to make the prayer for a husband the focus of my fast after that dream. The Monday after October 2020, Jesus is Lord service, a gentleman who was the brother of someone I was acquainted with, who, had, who, had, who I had lost contact with and forgotten about, was impressed heavily on my mind. I had to go through my channels to, give, to get his number, as each time I brushed it aside. It was like the thought just returned with great force. I eventually contacted him and we started communicating, but it seemed like nothing was happening. One night with the king, the summer of, Ju of 2023 weekend, the first word of knowledge through prophecy that Pastor Kola said was, you are released to get married. I knew it was my word. What seemed like it, it wouldn't happen came to pass. We got married exactly three years after making contact, after October Justice Lord 2023, Jesus is Lord service. God has not given up on what I had given up on indeed in Jesus' name. I also want to thank God for supernatural provision. The wedding has been paid for, and all my regular bills have been paid. I am trying to figure out how, and as it makes no sense, each time I go over the budget, but everything is settled. I have come to give God all the glory. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's rise up and just give God glory for 2023. Our God has been faithful. And maybe you did not come up here to testify, but when you look at your life, God has been faithful. I want you to raise up your hands and begin to thank God. 2023, our God is a faithful. To Him be all the glory. He has answered our prayers. He has touched us. He has reached out to us. We to exalt God. God is a good God. He is a faithful God. He has never lost a battle. The battle over your life, He will not lose. The job you are looking for, He will give you. He has provided for you. He has kept you in good health. Oh, we cannot but say thank you to the Lord. Our God indeed is faithful. He has opened businesses for us. He has given us all that we need. We say thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Indeed, we are grateful. We are gra I want you to thank God for 2023. This is the last Thanksgiving service for this year. Say, God, we are grateful to you. We give you glory, oh God. We give you honor, oh Lord. We stand here alive and well. Oh, we worship you, God. Our God is faithful. Our God is good to us. Yes, Give God a clap of 
offering as you take your seat. I want you to give God a clap. Clap for the Lord. He's a faithful God. He's a good God. Give him a clap, clap, clap. Praise the Lord.